Richards, how satisfying was that win today? Yeah, for the first half we were very good. Um, a little bit sloppy at times um, in the second half, um, but managed to do enough to see the game out. So yeah, really happy. You went with two up top. Uh, was that designed just to push Chester back? No, it was just in terms of what James has been doing. He's been coming off the bench and he, he really he can't have done much more really. You know, he's, he's had the, uh, I suppose, the strength to go and take some penalties in some really difficult situations, and I think he deserved his chance to start. So um, obviously that kind of. I suppose pushed me into that decision in a way because Calvin Dinsley was slightly struggling. Um, but yeah, it's just um, I think he he gave Simo that foil as well up there, so he got around a lot of the seconds. And you know, I thought first half the boys were excellent. Just need to sort of improve second half. Had you looked at Chester and thought you're not quite so good defensively away from home? No, to be honest, we, we looked at the last couple of games. We you know, did our analysis on, on what we were to expect. I think they were struggling a bit, to be fair to them. I think they had probably four out. Obviously, it didn't help with the early injury to the to the right back as well. So, um, you know, I think that they were a bit depleted as well. But to be fair to the boys, I thought, like I said, first half we were excellent. It looked to me as though you tried to exploit that with down the left with, with Finn and Greenslade. Yeah, I thought I thought Finney was excellent. I thought Danny obviously got his rewards for the goal as well, getting forward. And George Lloyd never stopped working on the, on the other side. Um, you know the pitch helps as well. Ben's got it in such immaculate condition that it's sort of week in, week out. It's um, it, you know really does help and, and it's showing now with the, the home results and the home performances. It's not just the, the attacking intent today; it was the defence as well. Another clean sheet. You must be satisfied with that. Yeah, we said at half time, obviously going in at one 0 and, and saying, "Look, lads, you get a clean sheet in the second half, then it's you know it takes care of itself." And uh, again. I thought the whole, well, Matt Yates, got the saves, Josh, Jordan, absolutely excellent, Kieran, Danny, you know, the whole team really defended well. And obviously, see that last five, ten minutes, I've had to, you know, put Harvey on just to sort of hopefully shore it up. And, and yeah, I'm lucky it works, we've got 2 0 win. Very much a team method because everybody's chasing, everybody's helping themselves out if they make a mistake. Yeah, well, that's you know that's how we want them to. Well, that's why we have to work at any level of football anyway. But um, yeah, the boys have been great. And they are really buying into everything that we're doing, and then long may it continue. Uh, we had Keon Rafael in uh, commentary on BBC uh, today. Um, he thinks he's not far away. That would give you another almost like a new signing. Yeah, I know it'd be superb. Keon's been his attitude's been absolutely excellent. Obviously, since we identified what the problem was and he had the operation, he's been superb. And you know, we've probably got about sort of eight. Sort of off-feet sessions into him now in terms of no ball, um, but hopefully he'll be able to get back into training in early January and be available for selection. Hopefully, second week in chat. Cracking prospect, Agbra. Can you, Mr. Harry? Is there'll be a lot of travelling fans there. What do yeah. you have to say to them? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be tough. But you know, if the boys can continue this sort of run of form there in at the moment, then let's let's try and make it free on the bounce in terms of obviously the, you know the Christmas period. It'd be great, you know, to go Boxing Day 29th and the first with, with three wins would be unbelievable. And five straight wins here. Yeah, well, that's really nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely superb. And again, you know, we've got a few more home games coming up in the next couple of weeks, so let's uh, let's hope that that continues as well. And a final question about the lone players. We've got a number on. Uh, as I understand it, expiring in January, are you already in advanced uh, connections with other clubs on that? Or yep. What's the latest? Yeah, so we're you know regular communication with the clubs with other boys on loan from, so um, that's all taken, being taken care of, and, and hopefully um, we should be in a strong position come early January. Are you telling me that you're interested in all of them, or are one or two clubs asking for them back? Well, obviously, some of them have been doing excellent, so we'll obviously have to have those discussions in terms of what the parent club needs to do. But you know, I think the, the loanies that we've had have been absolutely outstanding, and uh, you know, hopefully, we're in a situation where we can keep the majority of them. Well, well done today, and happy New Year when it comes. Cheers, yeah. Thank you.